Well, I got to tell you, big congratulations are in order for Sal, who on January 31st turns 101 years old. Happy birthday. Next, when Brenda Files decided to retire from her corporate job, she could have taken life easy. But instead, she decided to buy a grocery store, of all things, in the little town of College Grove. And as Susan Watson discovered, the work's hard, the hours are long, but the rewards much greater than corporate life ever was. Drive to College Grove and you can walk to a realty or insurance office, a hot rod shop, or three antique stores. But if you're in the mood for a big slice of fresh baked pie served with a side of nostalgia and a friendly smile, well, the College Grove Grocery is definitely the place to stop. The store has been a fixture of the community since 1947, when Harry and Mildred Taylor first opened their doors to customers. After they retired and sold the business in 1998, a series of owners followed. When Brenda Files noticed a for sale sign in 2004, she decided to take a chance and start a second career. I'd spent 30 years in health care and decided it was just time to do something different. As the proud owner of the College Grove Grocery, her dream came true. Something different is what Brenda does every day. I do anything that no one else does, and it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's running the cash register or cleaning the bathroom or grinding hamburger meat or baking pies, anything that comes up, um, I handle. And I'm really fortunate because I've got a great group of people that work here, but when, when they get busy, I just fill in wherever I am needed. The College Grove Grocery is small compared to today's giant chain food stores, but you can find everything you need to make a week's worth of great meals, from canned goods to fresh vegetables and a variety of locally produced items. Or you can just show up and sit down to a delicious home-cooked meal, already prepared by talented cooks who know their way around the kitchen. Today we're having meatloaf and baked chicken. Those are, will be the two meat choices. And oven roasted potatoes, green beans, tossed salad. We're serving pie today as well. So we'll be, we'll be passing out some of our homemade pies that we baked last night. One of the things that we really have tried to do is as much as possible bake all of our own bakery goods. We bake, we bake pies, we make about four different varieties of pies and we concentrate on those because we can make them well and it's pecan, buttermilk, chess, and fudge. And we make brownies, chocolate, peanut butter, oatmeal, no-bake cookies. We sell a ton of those. We make those three or four times a week. And cakes. Happy birthday to you. But I call them mom cakes because, you know, they don't have fancy frosting. They don't have a lot of the uh, fancy script writing. They truly look like something that if you were the mom who wanted to make a birthday cake for her child, that's what you would make. And we make cheesecakes. Um, one, of our, one of our employees actually has her own cheesecake business that's separate from the grocery store, but she bakes cheesecakes here for us. And so we have homemade cheesecake. And uh, we, we try and make a lot of home-style foods. I call it, you know, southern comfort food, the things that your mom made. On the weekends, they fire up the grill with hamburgers on Friday and ribeye steak on Saturday. The old cowbell above the door announces the arrival of customers from 7 in the morning until 8.30 at night, seven days a week. And chances are pretty good you'll run into Brenda anytime you come. I occasionally take a day off. That is, that is one thing. Um, I, I think um, there's an old joke that I used to hear and I, I have come to believe it. And that is if you're a business owner, you can work half days. You can work any 12 hours you want. <laughs> Brenda's hard work and long hours have paid off. It's once again the hub of the community, just as it was when the Taylors ran the store for so many years. My, my goal was to move it back to be a, a 1950s, 1960s grocery store and put a few modern touches in it, but try and keep it with that small town community uh, old feel. So as much as possible, we kept things the way they were and just updated things. The scales up front look like new, 
but they've been here since 1947 and are still in working order, certified each year by the state. The day we were there, Miss Mildred Taylor dropped by and continued a 60-year-old tradition by weighing her great-granddaughter, Addison. Miss Addison, you're doing good. Her husband used to joke that those scales weighed as many babies as they did bananas. Moments like these make Brenda Files very happy. Happy she took a chance and happy to continue a tradition. Happy her grocery is more than just a place to buy food. It's a place where people smile and call you by name. See, someone does care about me. And bake you a cake on your birthday, where you can have lunch and a laugh with friends. Hi, good to see you, Miss Mildred. Or just sit quietly and watch the world go by. Yes, Brenda's happy to be a part of it all. This is my home. I've been here for 12 years, and I just, you know, I love this community.